do you see this cake? This is a Dutch cookie cake. In the Netherlands, we have something called stroopwafels. And stroopwafels are, I guess, some kind of, you could call it a cookie or a waffle, filled with caramelized sugar. It's very particular and very Dutch. And because we have 10,000 subscribers, I had to get a cake. It's something worth celebrating, right? It's also a good excuse to get fat. Because today I'm going to answer some of your personal questions that you submitted to my channel. Now, I don't like talking about my personal life on YouTube. In fact, I hate it. But you know what? We're going to have an exception just for this one time, all right? All right, so normally I don't really like to talk about my private life on YouTube, but uh, I guess some of you could be curious about the man behind the camera. And I asked all of you, because we have 10,000 subscribers to have a so sort of celebration, in which I answer your awkward or personal questions. Uh, however, a lot of you send me questions like, what is your favorite insect? Or how do I start breeding moths? Sorry, but I had to ignore your questions. The point was to send me awkward questions and those questions are not awkward. We'll probably have a regular FHQ later, but uh, this one is a personal one. So you can find out something about my private life and my opinions. So let's just dive right into it. <coughs> the first question is from the silent moth trapper. Would you in the future like to get married? Would I like to get married? The answer is, even if I had a partner that I really like, I would never consider getting married. Because for me, the concept of marriage is old fashioned and I just don't see the value in it. Now this is no, no offense to married people who are watching my videos, okay? If marriage is important to you, then I don't dispute that. If marriage is important to you, please get married if it makes you happy. But personally, I don't see the point in it. I am uh, completely irreligious. I'm not a religious man. And marriage, but basically it stems from, uh, from religion, in my opinion. And um, I don't think that if you are with a partner for a long time, and you suddenly get married after 10 years, I don't think anything fundamental will change in your relationship. It's still the same relationship between the same two people. And I don't think a commitment to stay with someone for the rest of your life is a realistic commitment to make. The thing is that uh, even if you are with a partner who really, who really suits you, I don't think you can make a promise that nothing will change in your life. People tend to grow apart. People tend to grow or fall out of love. I mean, it's not your fault it happens. And committing yourself with staying with the same person for the rest of your life, I don't think it's a realistic commitment to make. Because love is not unconditional, believe it or not. And even if your relationship seems perfect today, it, it may not be perfect tomorrow. And it can also happen because of circumstances that are completely beyond your own control, right? So in, from that perspective, I would never make the promise to stay with someone for the rest of my life because I can't predict the future. I don't know what's going to happen in my future and you don't know what's going to happen in your future. And uh, that's why I think that the promise of marriage, for me, it has no value and it is not a promise that I can make. I hope I don't sound too harsh, but you want to know my personal opinion and this is my personal opinion. It's subjective, okay? Before you begin uh, having a complete debate in my comment section, oh, uh, but Bart, you are so wrong. Marriage is really the best thing. Yeah, okay, okay. Hey, if you believe that, I don't dispute it. Okay, I'm just giving my opinion. Raymond Mantis asked me, what is your IQ? Well, uh, that's difficult to answer because the last time my IQ was tested, I was 16 years old. Uh, I, today I am 26 years old, so that was 10 years ago. And I don't feel like the IQ of a teenager can be compared to the IQ of an adult. 
Um, <coughs> however, there is something weird going on with my brain. I have one overdeveloped and one underdeveloped half of my brain. Uh, my verbal IQ, for example, is 120, which is high or even considered gifted. However, my spatial awareness IQ is around 90. This is very below average or even low functioning. Um, so I have one brain half that is gifted or smart and I have one brain half that is, well, basically, I don't want to use the word retarded because that's maybe offensive, but very low functioning. So my average IQ is 105. This is a very regular normal IQ. I believe the average IQ is always 100. The median is around 100 IQ. So 105 is just a little bit above average. Uh, however, in my situation, I don't feel like the average is a good indication. Uh, although, well, I don't think IQ points are a good indication of intelligence at all. It's just measuring your capability of how good you are at making an IQ test. I think human intelligence is much more complex than can be measured by an IQ test. However, I would say that my uh, intelligence is quite average, although there's a big uh, difference in uh, between some of my cognitive functions. I'm some things I am very above average and in other things I'm very below average. It's a complex situation. This is called a discrepancy in your IQ and uh, it's sometimes it happens in people. For some reason some parts of your brain can be more intelligent than other halves and not be completely homogeneous if you understand what I mean. It's weird but it's true. Hustle legally asked me are you single if not for how long? Yes I happen to be single so good news for you. <laughs> But uh, yeah, I have been I, I have been for about three years. I think no, wait, four years. I've been single for four years. And uh, to be honest, I don't really care. I don't value relationships that much. Uh, I mean, if it happens, it's nice, of course, to have a relationship. But uh, I don't need one to to feel happy. Uh, I'm definitely one of the persons that uh, really knows how to amuse himself. Plus, uh, you know. I have a big audience online and that also gives me a sense of friendship even though most of you are not people I've ever met in real life or even talked to the fact that there's a lot of people supporting me online does make it that I never feel lonely so that's a great feeling Draconius Ultimatus asked me what is my death plan? I don't have a death plan um, I'm, am, I, am I afraid of death? I'm not as scared of death, but uh, I also hope that I don't die tomorrow. I hope to grow old if I can. Uh, and I'm just 26 years old, so I don't hope to have a death plan any anytime soon. And uh, if it happens, it happens, you know, there's nothing you can do to prevent it. Maybe I get hit by a bus tomorrow, but I don't care what happens to me beyond the, beyond the time that I'm alive. I guess that you could say my death plan is to grow old and as breed as many moths as I can and make as much videos about them as I can and to research them and protect the animals I care about. That's my death plan. Ans from Holland asked me, what's the biggest lie you've ever told without getting caught? Well, I could tell you, but if I told you on YouTube, I would get caught. Meet Chan asked me, what is your hair care routine? Well, let me ask you, let me tell you about my hair care routine. It's nothing. I don't do anything about my hair. Maybe one, one time a year I will take some scissors and cut some, some of it off myself. Yeah, I don't even go to a barber. I just literally take scissors and cut it off myself. So that's why it looks like crap. And you know what? I don't care. My appearance is not really that important to me. So uh, I don't... I don't like, I don't have to impress anyone with my uh, appearance. I like to keep it natural. So, uh, yeah, my hair care routine is just shower, okay? Just make sure, sure you're not a filthy person. Just take a shower and that's it. When, I, when I'm really generous, I'll I use some shampoo, but that's really it. Insect Illuminati asked me, what dialect of Dutch do you speak? To be honest, I don't really know what kind of dialects of Dutch there are, so I have no clue which dialect I'm speaking. Next question. I'm gonna go there. What's up with your bottom lip on the right? 
Mm. That's a question I get a lot. It's weird, right? Uh, I was born with it and it is vein tissue, like, you know, the blood veins that your blood is running through. It's made of a special kind of tissue and for some reason I was born with it in the corner of my mouth. And it's just a curiosity. Um, when I was a teenager, I went to the doctor to check it out and they said it's completely harmless. And they asked me, do you want to remove it? They could do a surgery to remove it. But you know what? I'm not a big fan of surgery. Surgery is dangerous. Uh, anesthetics are dangerous. People using a scalpel to cut off part of your body is dangerous. Believe it or not, it can go wrong. And um, yeah, if it's j I don't I don't like cosmetic surgery. Uh, I don't want to sacrifice my health just to look better. If it's harmless, it's harmless. It doesn't impact me. Here's another fun fact. There's another one on the inside of my mouth. Want to see it? Warning, this is going to be gross. Can you see it? It's that weird purple thing. Did you see it? It's also on the inside of my mouth for some reason. And um, I don't know if there is a medical term for this. You could call it a malformation because it's tissue in a place where the tissue is not supposed to be. Although it's very minor, I say. Uh, I do have to say I'm not unhappy with my lips. I do have very full lips. See? So uh, I think that makes up for the weird thing in the corner of my mouth. The wolf pack asked me, have you ever made a mistake when taking care of them? Well, of course I have. Things go wrong all the time, I just don't post it on YouTube. In fact, on some occasions I've accidentally even stepped on them, accidentally crushed them. Uh, I closed the zipper of my cage with caterpillars stuck between it. I've given them the wrong food plant, which caused them to starve or die. And uh, it happens if you keep a lot of animals and in particular a lot of insect. A lot of the species I breed are very challenging or have not been bred by anyone else before. So I'm really doing pioneer work here, being the first to breed many species. And uh, because of that, mistakes happen. You know what, it doesn't bother me. I like to experiment a little. Tyler Mack asked me, do you have a love life? Sorry if that's too personal. No, at the moment I definitely don't have a love life. I think the last time uh, I had a date was like, I think it was two or three years ago. But um, then again, I don't really care to be honest. I'm not that. Uh, I'm not really that sexual of a person. Does that sound weird? That's a weird thing to say, right? But it's the truth. I mean, uh, I am a 26-year-old heterosexual male. Uh, I have normal sexuality. Okay, I have. I'm not asexual. But uh, I'm also not someone who is very motivated to pursue, pursue these urges, yeah? Do you know what I'm talking about? Yeah, you understand, right? We're adults, okay? Nobody's watching, except, except 15,000 subscribers, who cares? No, but uh, honestly, <coughs> I mean, um, sometimes it happens that you meet an attractive person, and I, I'm not very conservative. So when that happens, I'm open to it, but uh, I don't think it's an important part of my life. So uh, right now, I think for the last two years, definitely I didn't have any forest form of love life. And you know what? I'm completely fine with that. So uh, I don't really need to have it. So um, yeah. Philosophy Snail asked me, oh, I came up with another question. What's the best and worst comments you've ever received on a video? Well, to be honest, I have to be honest with you, but I, st I stopped reading the comments a long time ago. Sometimes I will log in and, uh, and answer some of them just to be nice. But, uh, I mean, sometimes I get compliments and sometimes I get hate, but that's normal on YouTube. And when people are like, well, Bart, you're so awesome. You're my favorite YouTuber. Then I'm like, meh. But if someone was like, oh, you're so ugly, you're an ugly, stupid monster, and uh, you're dumb and a freak who plays with insects, I'd be like, meh. 
I don't really internalize the comments on YouTube a lot. You know, I have an emotional distance between what people say online. So even if there was really bad or really good comments, I really don't remember them. Probably sounds harsh, but that's how it is. Honey, do ask me, have you ever eaten one of your insects? Uh, no, not one of my own, but I have eaten moths in Laos when I was uh, researching moths there. There's even a video of it on my channel. How much money do you spend in them? I think it's definitely a few thousand dollars per year. So uh, if you are single and if so, why? Well, why am I single? Why am I single? Do people need a reason to be single? I mean, why do you have a relationship? Why do you have a partner? Because you find some, found someone who you liked and it was mutual? I mean, I don't think being single is something you need to justify or explain. Why are you single? Uh, that's a question you get asked a lot if you are single. But it's because I either haven't met someone that I like enough to be in a relationship with or either I don't care enough to, to pursue that and uh, I think love is not something you should force it's not something I look for my, my attitude towards relationship is if you meet a nice person then it happens but I don't think that's something you can force I don't go out of my way to find someone I mean it could happen tomorrow it could happen in 10 years I don't care for, uh, for now, I, I'm not really busy with that kind of stuff. So, um, I do have to say, I've only had one relationship in my life and it lasted for like seven months. And uh, it wasn't really a good relationship in my opinion. It was like an awkward, me and her didn't have that much in common. And um, I think the reason that I don't really desire to have a relationship is because I never really experienced one. Wait, the camera is focusing, not, not really, it's out of focus. Hmm. Anyway, think of it like drugs, okay? Or smoking. If you've never smoked before in your life, you probably just won't randomly crave smoking a cigarette. If, you, if you've never taken heroin before, yeah? Then you probably don't wake up like, oh, today I have the urge to do heroin. No, because you never experienced it before, right? I think relationships are the same. If you've experienced a good relationship before, then you will then you will crave having that feeling. But I never had that feeling, so I don't crave it. I know that's a weird explanation, but that's how I really feel that it is. And my camera is really annoying, let me fix it. Great, turns out I've been filming using the wrong settings all this time, that's why and the lighting behind me is awkward. Mm. Should have positioned the camera better. But uh, we're halfway into this video. So much noise. We're halfway into this video and I'm not going to retake it just to have better lighting. Because this is just an FHQ video anyway. So it's not important that the video quality is that great. Sir Ibram asked me, do you think your life is good at the moment? Hmm. I think my life is good at the moment. But if I would give it a rating, I would say a, a, a 6 or a 7 out of 10. Uh, my life is definitely more happy than it is sad. And I, overall, I have more feelings of happiness than I have feelings of sadness. So yes, for me at the moment, my uh, life is good. But it could be better. I'm going to be honest with you, it could be better. But you know what, I think that's normal. Uh, there are some issues at the moment, some personal issues. And um, I'm going to make a video about that. So stay tuned to my channel if you want to see my personal drama. Because I'm going to open up more about my personal life and tell you things about it pretty soon. Uh, I'm working on a lot of videos behind the scenes. Also a lot of insect videos, but also some more insights into my private life. God, I hate my hair right now. See, that's my hair care routine. It should improve. <laughs> anyway. Oh, that's better. Now I look like a 
a chore boy so uh, I think my life is good at the moment to be honest yeah in fact uh, many of the things I was doing are successful I got new work uh, my YouTube channel is growing really really hard it also makes me happy so yeah there's a there's a lot of success in the last uh, few weeks but it could be better do you have autism or Asperger's syndrome? You seem very, very similar to a lot of us in the ASD community. Yes, I am diagnosed with autism and uh, it's a severe limitation on my life, to be honest. Um, although I am a high functioning artist, uh, there's a lot of things I can do. I can still work, I can still make a living, I can still be somewhat independent. I can even make a YouTube channel that gets a lot of attention. Um, my intelligence is not affected but there are some curiosities that make life hard for me it's hard for me to multitask or plan or be an independent person but yes I am a huge artist I have the official diagnosis I'm not self-diagnosed I've been diagnosed since I was 15 years old with autism and uh, I never uh, made a secret uh, of that well and our next question is do you have a girlfriend but uh, I also uh, answered this question two times before, confirming that yes, I was single. Do you live with your parents or is the house yours now? You don't really talk about them anymore. You never hear any sounds coming from inside the house while you're outside. Yes, I live with my parents. And there's a good reason that I don't talk about them. And there's a good reason you don't hear sounds from inside the house. That's because I respect their privacy. Okay, I don't want to discuss the private life of my parents on YouTube. My parents have nothing to do with my channel. Uh, it's their privacy, it's their life. I have nothing to discuss about my parents. This channel is about my hobby, about my interest in nature and insects, and not about my personal life. So, uh, second of all, I don't want to record in the house. Imagine if you live in the house with a YouTuber and your private conversations are going online on YouTube. That's rude, right? So if my parents are talking, if they're having a conversation, I don't record videos in the house. I wait for them to leave the house and then I record my videos. Because a lot of the things they are, they are saying, talking to each other, it's private. I don't want to broadcast it online. So that's why you don't see them in my videos. I make an effort to keep them out. Someone asked me, why don't you call yourself ShadowBlood66 on video? Well, that's the old name of my channel. Guys, I was 14 years old when I made a YouTube channel. And I thought ShadowBlood66 sounded really cool and edgy. And uh, yeah, that, that's still on the link of my channel. It's an inside joke. And that's it for today. Here's some personal information. Uh, stay tuned, please. I'm working on a lot of stuff behind the scenes. It's very busy. My channel is growing really hard. Uh, I'm not going to be uploading many videos in a short amount of time but I'm working on a few big videos that will take a lot of time to finish and this was just the awkward uh, question FHQ okay see you later bye bye